All right. The game is underway. Equal footing is the map. We have the Mista, the legend, heralding a career spanning uh, something, something like a decade and a bit in a numerous RTS titles, StarCraft, all the different Age of Empires games, Age of Empires 2, Mythology, and of course a living legend in the Age of Empires Online community, winning nearly every single paid cash tournament during the time of uh, the time's existence with Microsoft. And on the other hand, we have Greeky, who has recently been on the come up, competing against the likes of Zertan and Eerie and, and Carnage, and showcasing that he's got what it takes to play against the best of the best. So I am looking forward to this game. It's going to be the series, this whole entire series. It's going to be epic. Um, and let's see what Greeky can bring, right? Because he's the underdog in this matchup. We sort of expect to see the Mista be on his A game. Like he has been this whole tournament dropping only two maps so far. The maps look pretty balanced to me. So I'm, I'm liking that. Greeky's got a hunt there and a hunt there. And so does the Mista's got a hunt back here and a hunt uh, out in front. So it looks pretty good to me. And look at this. The Mista is going to be going on the aggressive. This is something I actually thought that Greeky was going to do. I thought he was going to take the aggressive, uh, the um, be aggressive in this matchup. Seeing the success that Eerie had in the series against the Mista from, from yesterday. We saw Eerie like do really great things. But I guess he's content to go for a second town center given the fact that he has so many sheep. He's going to age two and the Mista is starting to pump out some spearmen. I'm I'm kinda of surprised he's doing this. He's talked at length, you know, when he's casting with me and, and when he's just chatting on his own stream about how the spearman, especially Celt spearman, who can't spend so much time sitting under TC fire. Blessings upon you. Damn. Finals hype. Let's go, Greeky. Tatty on the cheeky incoming. <laughs> Tatty on the cheeky. <laughs> uh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Let's do this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see what uh, what Greeky can showcase here. Well, he knows exactly what's coming his way. He nearly has enough resources. So, this is looks like he's on the back foot. You know, what is this? Two minutes and 50 seconds into this matchup. He looks like he's already on the back foot. Because Greeky will be able to drop down a town center right now. Boom. On the berries. And these berries are... Oh, I was about to say his, his home berries are pretty bad. But those aren't his home berries. Those are just really nice closed berries. Uh, he gets knocked off of his hunt. But uh, since he put his Stockton Town Center within his TC range, there's really nothing the Mista can do. Greeky on the cheeky, baby. <laughs> so, the ace is right, though. The ace is right. Um, the Mista isn't going to pop in here and try to deny this town center i guess that what that was never the goal with the spearman rush the goal with the spearman rush is to keep greeky contained in his base make sure that he can't do all the nasty things that he would normally do if he had the map control on the map uh, but of course this is you know still a, a wide area of a of control that greeky now has over the map now that he has the second town center Mista is about to put down his own. He gets to put it wherever he wants, and he's going to choose an excellent forward location. He's got a nice gold mine here. He's got uh, berry bushes that he's protecting and a whole hunt. Um, I actually thought he would have put it here, but maybe this tree line is a bit in the way of his second town center and building in between them. Yeah, so... Greeky is going to be... Good point, eagerly. Same. I've never seen such a close... 
second berries. But in saying that, that that's quite good for Greeky, right? You can get Picker's Glove, increase the gathering rate, and then really doesn't have to be pressured uh, to take anything outside of his base. Like these hunts, this one or this one here that the Mist is going to be constantly focused on. Ooh, love this. Blessings upon you. <laughs> <laughs> Carnage coming in here with the uh, with with some some facts. Carnage, I messaged you earlier. Jump in, jump on. Uh, send me a message. I want to I want to cast with you. Let's go. I need a legendary caster for this legendary series. All right, Greeky is making Decorion's double Praetorium. You can't really move out with these Decorions, though. The Spearmen of the Mista, although they are very frail and weak, they have four times the damage against Cavalry, and so the Snare will work quite well against Greeky. And the Mista is actually making even more Spearmen. So he's... Sorry, sorry. I should have read it out loud. I kind of expected it to read it out loud as well. <laughs> Send it in the chat again and I'll, I'll read it out loud. I can't uh, can't remember exactly what it said. This is going to lose his scout. So Greeky's uh, massing up some Decorions. But if he ever wants to get to this third age quite quickly, he's going to need to not lose them. And the mist has been sort of enveloping his woodworkers in this wall of buildings so there's not too many unprotected resources here this is pausing oh he's going for some water ah there we go it probably had a it probably had a slur, so it didn't. Uh, so it didn't say it, but I will say it because this isn't a family-friendly stream. Carnage says, "You wish, Igory, Mister, gonna farm his sloth ash." So we got two opposing viewpoints. We got the underdog and the legend. Ooh, Mista, forgetting a uh, storehouse here. Decorion's chasing them back. I'm surprised Greeky didn't want to take out this storehouse. That could be quite good. And ooh, look at this. Spearman Champion coming out for the Mista. That gives extra bonus damage versus cavalry. And 20% on the four times multiplier is actually quite good. And minus 10% training time and extra damage versus building. So... Very strong upgrade. And Greeky really won't be able to do much against it. Especially with Decorion. Decorions aren't going to do anything. Yeah, they're going to give chase. But uh, if Mista targets these Decorions, that's a lot of resources. <laughs> Is the only reason why he's winning that one map because he's falling asleep, Carnage? Mista just gets tired. Wow, this is a lot of... A lot of barracks and no conditioning for the Mista. Greeky rightfully is going for age 3. Mista also going for age 3. Actually, Greeky going ahead of... Of the Mista. I'm wondering if he was do, trying to do some like timing push with a ton of spearmen. Or instead, maybe... The best course of action is just a ton of Wold Raiders. Just like obscene amounts of Wold Raiders. You can come in here and, and do some pretty good damage with the World Raiders plus uh, the Augur doing some building damage. You have some Spearmen in the back just to maybe take out the Decorions. Um, but Greeky is just chilling on these two Praetoriums. He's probably going to switch to Centurions in a second. Oh, nice micro by him. He's, he's But even, even just a couple of Spearmen do a lot of damage to these Decorions. And look, oh, he's going to lose two Decorions to four Spearmen. Two and a half. Two and a half Decorions. 
And yeah, now this is where he's making just uh, so many Centurions. All the Centurions, actually. Alright, but Greeky, obviously, he's pulling out two Siege Workshops. This is what the Mista is worried about. He's got a, a sizable force in the middle of the base, but uh, yeah, Centurions are going to be able to clean that up. Um, he's finally getting conditioning, Mista. He's floating a lot of resources. Uh, he's getting Wild Raiders, Thoric Songwoodman Champion, so just a, a mix. A mix of all of the infantry in the Celtic army arsenal. Just a cocktail of, of different infantry units. Let's see what he's trying to do with them, because... Like, I guess Mista has showcased the crazy good ability of Centurions to really just cut through any raiding force. Um, and the longer that the Mista gives him, the the more, the stronger that Greeky's army gets. He's already up to uh, 10 population ahead of the Mista. See, in his base, he's getting a Bard Hall. He's already got guys on a gold mine. Um... But these Wood Raiders right now won't really be able to do much to the Decorions. There's no... There's no Spearmen here to defend. Uh, but everything everything back here is protected. Holy, that's a lot of people on these uh, berry bushes. What will Mista do after that? Alright, look at, look at the Mista. He's already he's pre-planning where Greek is going to be. Or I hope he is. This looks like he's going to be too late. Greeky continuing to pump out Aquilifers, Decorion Champions. So he's going full officers as the front line mixed with Scorpios in the back. <sighs> Holy! 26 villagers? Greeky is going to lose so many villagers here. What is a good villager count? 59 villagers to the 65 of Greeky. Okay, so Greeky is ahead, but uh, he's going to lose a couple of them. One, two, three maybe. Too bad there's no Wold Raiders there in the mix. <sighs> oh no. These Decorions, yeah, yeah, cannot get trapped by these, by these uh, spearmen. There's 15 spearmen here. Scorpios are given chase. Yeah, Greeky's army is given chase, but uh, it's not. It's not going to get anything done. There's another potential nice flank here with a ton of Wood Raiders, so. These Scorpios might see it or might not. Oh no, he's going to sacrifice. Mr. is going to get a right coming in and probably is going to go for some building damage or something. Potentially. No, just going to go for the, the siege workshops. Villagers are going to come in to try to repair. And the main army of Greeky has turned back to try to take out these uh, these units of the Mista. But that's one siege, rock, siege workshop down for free. Coming in with another raiding group. Possibly to try to take out uh, anything that Greeku is going to do with these villagers. This is losing some units for free. Greeku is nearly at 160 population. He just needs to like turn his attention to the main army or the main base of the Mista and try to do something uh, quite strong. This is doing something that he does as Romans, but instead of Romans doing as Celts. Uh... It's a fast moving army. 8.1 speed. These guys move faster than chariot archers. So maybe he's going to use that to his advantage. You know, a lot of the upgrades. This is a slow moving 5.5 speed Roman army. So the more he dances, maybe the Mista is taking a, a page out of like Muhammad Ali's playbook, you know? Oof. Yeah, he is. Call of the Stag coming in, as well as uh, the damage upgrade, headhunting. So he's just gonna just gonna dance around with small little raiding units and try to be effectively damaging him that way. But yeah, Greeky's army is massive. It's it's huge. He's floating a ton of resources. And you can just start taking out buildings, start taking out uh, town centers. The Mist in the meantime, look, he's got units here. He's got units trying to flank here. Uh, oh, and he's doing a good job of it. Gonna be able to take out one or two Scorpios, but uh, the Centurions here are able to take out the front line, um, scaring away the reinforcements in the back. There's more. Oh my god, there's units seemingly everywhere for Mista. 
He's doing a great job flanking, but let's see if it works out in the end. The World Raiders are getting on the Scorpios. Five Scorpios left. Now four, now three. And the army of Greeky seems like it got chopped off. That seemed to work. Uh, the full 360 surround by the Mista. Holy. I uh, see the armor upgrades. Any armor upgrades for either of these players? No. Uh, Praetorium coming in. Let's see. No armory upgrades for any of these players. Oh, two armories back here. But he hasn't gotten anything yet. Mista throwing down his third TC. While throwing in even more raiding units on each side of the map. Uh, some raiding units here. Some raiding units there. And it's going to be a while for Greeky till he gets up uh, a full unit composition again. See here, his gold deposit's about to run out, and that's the only gold that Greeky's on right now. It's making me a little bit worried. Sorry, these two golds are the only two golds. I'm I'm just impressed that uh, the Mista was able to. Handily dispatch of Greeky's army. Despite. How much more population he had. Check the villager count again. 94 to the 76. Mm. So Greeky's army is actually like ridiculously small. He's just now getting down farms. So he's going to have his, uh, his eco is going to be quite rough. For the time being. His houses are being. Uh, chopped at. And there's no army here to defend this like. Couple Scorpios. Centurion. One Centurion is enough to uh, scare away the army. <laughs> or maybe not. But this army should be. Alright. Greek Eve getting some army upgrades. But so is the Mista. Two critical ones. The Iron Smelting and then the Melee d Infantry Damage one. Um, he's got a, a small raiding force. But it's a costly unit. To lose. So Greek is, yeah, falling away with 20 more resources. Oh no. I think there's a maximum number of people that can gar uh, garrison into uh, Castellum. And so all the rest of these villagers are dying. 80 villagers to the 79. 76 now to 79. 73 and falling down to 70. Greek is being torn apart. And even from the front, he's able to clean this army up. Or hopefully he's able to clean this army up. But there's an army in the back on the... Uh, potentially going after oh, the wrong armory, but Greeky is being torn apart from every angle here. This is the old OP versus the new OP, and it looks like the old OP with Kels is definitely winning. This is a, a playstyle I haven't really seen before, uh, except for Eerie with a ton of old raiders. <laughs> I wonder, would it do him so good to get walls, but... No, instead he just taps? Holy... Greek, like ahead, look at the score, ahead the whole game. More villagers, seemingly larger army. Oh no, the army size is quite, quite comparable, actually. But, man, that missed a... That surround was nasty. Greeky outgathered the Mista, which is fine. He had like 20 more villagers. Yeah, no Druid. But that was the play, right? The play was to use the Celt's incredible speed. What is he at? up to? Like 8.5 speed on everything? These Wode Raiders are 10 speed. That's like a camel. Uh, these Long Swordsmen, 8.5. What about the um, the spearmen are at 8.5 as well? Like, why would you slow down your army? GG. Next map is... Uh, let me just triple check here. Savannah is the next map. Hello, sir. Hello. Welcome, Yuguri. A legendary Thanks. caster has joined the call. I would say that. Yes, I, I shall. You've been casting <laughs> for, for for many, many, many years, sir. Many, many years. Here and there. 
here yeah <laughs> uh, so do you see my screen i do see your screen yeah crystal clear and uh are you are you sure because there's something that might be in my eye i see the mist of playing norse it's like what the hell what the hell's going on here yeah i thought i was still <laughs> like sleep or dreaming here i couldn't believe what i'm witnessing right now norse versus celt norse versus celt on savannah and i'm guessing you know my first thought is okay you pick a really good sieve with with cavalry and that's fast moving so you can take advantage of the open space of savannah right. and so maybe that's what the mist is thinking you know you go for raiders just a ton of raiders moving into horsemen maybe that's mm -hmm. the play uh, but we will see possibly and one thing too i think norse is probably one of the more wood heavy sieves mm. so savannah is kind of interesting because obviously it's lack of forest or at least I guess there's a lot on the map, but they're kind of tinier compared to other maps. Yeah. So, I don't know. I like Greeky's chances this map. Celt, other than Bowman in Age 3, they're mostly boot and gold, so. <clears throat> yep, I, I agree with you there. Yeah. Um, and Greeky, actually, I'm liking the fact that he's going to be on the aggressive. Um, I'm liking that a lot. He's not, uh, not going to let the Mista dictate the pace of the game. He's going to be the one to group up with a lot of spearmen and hopefully force the Mist to put his second town center in his own base. Um, mm -hmm. and he has six villagers on that opening hunt, so mm -hmm. I think he's going to be pumping out spearmen for a while here. Yeah, he's he going to get, get hunting, hunting dogs. dogs, though. Yeah, I'm surprised with that many villagers on. Mist is already going to HQ. Yeah. It's not a surprise. <laughs> no. I think Ooh. he, like... He refuses to build that barracks in age one. <laughs> yeah, we saw him, but last game though, right? Like last game, he he switched it up quite well, mm -hmm. um, and went for that that early barracks into early aggression. Um, and even if he didn't do anything, right, games. just forcing right. him to to the play react, the game right? he wants. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, he's gonna be knocking the mist off of this hunt, but there's only two guys here. And I believe this might be within TC range if he targets it. Yep. It's close. It's very close. Right on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll Missed see in a second. So he has to go on the berries without picker's gloves because he wants to save that wood for this town center. So. I wonder. Will he be, be a little slow? Will he be gathering. bold and place it somewhere far away? Nice. Loom. Greeky is going for hunting dogs, so that's good. Yes. Ooh, no. Very safe DC placement. Oh, there's a couple spearmen I'm here. Greeky is still making spearmen. You think he'd just kind of stop at this point, stockpile that food for going up himself, because now that mist is age two. I mean, he doesn't have a barracks for throwing axemen, so he still has a a little bit of a timing window here if he sees go. this right now and he pushes in with all of his spearmen but he's, oh, he's just outside of the range now we should see it and he might be able to just like come in and, and he's got like seven or eight spearmen all oh, those spearmen are also weak i think the better target would be the wood line yeah he's going to age three two now he's gathering some stone he'll be maybe a minute minute and a half behind it's just so calm, cool, collected. He gets Picker's Gloves over throwing down a barracks here. He just like, he, no threat. <laughs> I don't care. You do what you want, Greeky. <laughs> 16 villagers to the 18 of Greeky. He's getting down a barracks now with his scout. That's going to take a while. Um, I don't think it's 50 seconds for the scout, right? It's, it should be more than 50 seconds. Uh, I, I mean, I know they buffed it not too long ago, but... I think it's the equivalent of a villager now, isn't it? Is it really? Wow, that'd be very impressive if it was. I could be wrong. <laughs> don't quote. <cool. laughs> yeah, so Greeky's kind of just, I'm not sure what he's doing. I mean, he's denying the hunts, but he could definitely be poking into the, the wood line. Yeah, he's, he's sort of letting the Mista get away with getting up a barracks, get away with getting up uh, an outpost, but like, I'm not opposed to keeping the numbers of spearmen high at least for the time being um that's true 
Because they will Ooh. serve a purpose later on in the game versus those raiders. Oh my Empty goodness. Principle. I, um... <sighs> Is there something with the resources? Yes. No back gold for Mista? No back gold for the Mista. Uh oh. Five minute mark. I don't know. He... Right. Ah. I I was too preoccupied with the game. Hmm. Uh... Okay, he says he doesn't mind. I mean, he did have to. He's, you know, he scouted it, right? So. I don't want to tell Greeky that, right? Okay. I know he scouted it, but I don't want to tell Greeky that there's no back gold. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, you, then no, you did you did that right. That's for sure. That's the play. All right, let's see what uh, the mystic can, uh, what Greeky can do. He's gonna come in here, poke. Potentially take out this town, this uh, mm -hmm. house. It's gonna potentially house him for uh, all of two seconds, but uh, now whenever you can thing. deny those Norse lawn houses, like do it. I think. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna lose some villagers, right? So twenty-nine villagers to the twenty-four, like maybe one two seconds worth of villager timing. Second barracks for Mista. I did see that Greeky got conditioning. I don't know. Mista still needs to get that upgrade. I like that he's mixing in uh, early war dogs though for like defense. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a great way to snare and make sure that your mm -hmm. your TCs are able to finish off the job. I mean, um, and we saw that he used that there when those spearmen came in to deny that lawn house. He actually got a couple there, trapped. Mm -hmm. My well, Greeky is just massing up more and more long swordsmen, but this is where oh, nice. This is getting conditioning, but this is where the, the 10 range, even though it's a small amount of range for throwing axemen, if you can kite and kite and kite, you eventually whittle down your opponents. You want to quickly switch to Greeky's uh, vision and see if he's. Well, I guess we can't check if he scouted the back of Mrs. Base, but. Yeah, you know, he's he has, he has, because he's he walked all the, gold the way around. Mines. <clears throat> he's putting one spearman on, like, the gold mine of. Uh, Gold mines in front of Mrs. Base, so he's like, maybe that's oh, his nice. plan. He's gonna just try and starve him out. I'm so I'm like, this is one of those things where, if the Mista wasn't pressured right early on, he could mm -hmm. ju just throw in a TC right here, secure the second gold mine. Um, but he will soon, I'm sure, get things like pickaxe to make sure that he doesn't uh, lose to losing gold. Um, Grigig's got one back hunt, but. Um, other than other than these two goals, like the rest of them are, are pretty pretty far away. Um, but to be fair, I don't think this game will be coming down to whoever has the most gold or the least amount of gold. It'll probably come down to whoever wins the fights in the middle of the map. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is if booming. it goes Holy. longer term, Mista actually has like it looks like one more gold mine over Greeky because his fourth is kind of on the other side of that weird looking forest. Mm -hmm. Kind of at the four o'clock position. <laughs> so yeah, no raiders for Missile. He's just all out throwing axemen. Is it five barracks now? Yeah, he's got he's got five barracks. Building them all with his uh, his infantry, which you don't see often. Surprisingly enough, you don't see often enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's getting a good number up here. I'm a little worried for uh, Greeky Lawn Swordsman. It's kind of not going to trade very. He's got druids. He's making. Well, he's only got one druid, actually. That could be easily sniped. Um, and I'm kind of worried. Like, there's a ton of war dogs here, and he's getting war, war dogs. dogs. What is that? Yeah. Champion? Not war dog champion, but McMastery of some sort that increases the build limit. And so there's going to be this huge front line of dogs <laughs> just sitting here. Oh, okay. And you can see, like, that'll make kiting with the throwing hacksman that, that much stronger. Like, because they'll just slow down all the lawn swordsmen. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Greedy sees this, though. Oh, and and they get to snare them. So, as they're running away, yeah. they're going to be snared. This isn't. Oh, man. This. Greedy's going to have to be really careful here. 
Is he, uh, what's that Bard Hall upgrade he's getting? It's a health one. Five percent health. The health one. He's getting temper, so that's one upgrade that he will have over, over the Mista. He's gonna need the speed one. <laughs> oh, Especially. for sure. Oh, here Freaky. we go. And he's snared by the war dog. Oh, does the does the druids get snared? The druid got snared. Oh no! Yeah, you gotta protect that druid. I don't, I don't know. Look, he's snaring another druid. Oh this is my god, that's 90 gold a piece. That's this very is about costly. 500 stone in the bank. I wonder if he'll throw up some towers here. I mean, first infantry, it might not be the most useful, but <laughs> definitely could. Oh no, oh. yes, he is. He is throwing down some towers. Very nice. Villager count, we got 54 to the 58. Ricky's doing a good job of protecting that. And this, I think these are just. These little towers here is almost like bait. Like he wants Creaky to come out and try and deny them. Ooh, nice <laughs> little. Uh... Oh man, this is not looking good for Creaky. Yeah, the the war dogs are like taking so much damage from these thro these uh, long swordsmen. Oh my god! And yeah, all Creaky. that's left is only <laughs> only throwing axe when there's no war dogs left because of course there's not. Creaky killed all the war dogs with none of the. The multipliers that the long swordsmen usually get. Mm -hmm. Oh, so smart! And now he's I just he... destroying all these forward houses. Ricky definitely needed bowmen to deal with this uh, mass throwing axemen army of the Mista. I think he's I think he's trying to do that now. Oh, yeah, he's got the food. He's just trying on survival mode right now. Yeah, let's see if he's uh, gonna click up right now. How many barracks does Greeky have? Like, he doesn't even have archery ranges. He's so, got like... four. Four bar. Uh... Oh no, there's some of them being built. Yeah, four right now. He does have the armory upgrades though, or one armory upgrade lead over the Mista, but he misses getting it right now. And this pressure, like all of his, he's down to 105 total population. Mm-hmm looking dire the situation is dire <laughs> man look how scary this army is snaring yeah, is another what you do here when your kelt is so hard to get us around on these throwing axemen so it's like lawn swordsmen aren't gonna cut it yeah you do need some bowmen you need some bowmen in this map and in this matchup surprise greek he's getting a shield rim there's no archers on the Yeah, very field strange. He should have been in age three like so long ago. I mean he has the resources to click up. He needs to do that. <laughs> he hopes to survive this. Man. I mean no age three yet for the Mista. It looks like he's just trying to finish the game now. Yeah, no, he's he's throwing all of his wood into these towers that cost hundred and fifty wood each. Um, Greeky is trying to mass up and he's throwing down a, so many houses. Oh my god! Would, is that the reason why he wasn't able to um, to get to the Silver Age? Because he didn't have enough houses because Mr. was killing them all? I could could be wrong, but... Uh... Oh, maybe. You're right. <clears throat> I mean, it looks like he has enough there. What is it for? Isn't it 8 for Silver Age? Yeah. Yeah, it looked like he, he had enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Just the pelting. Yeah, just melting these throwing axe or uh, lawn swords. I think that's gonna be it. Like, there's nothing Greeky can do here. Now he's out of food. Yeah, I was I was gonna say like Greeky was doing a good job. You can see like he got out on the map to get those other gold mines and berries. Missed it. Wasn't really yeah. punishing him for that. But yeah, I just can't stop throwing axemen. Oh, holy. And then he wasn't aggressive enough early on when the numbers were with low with his, yeah. with his spearmen or his lawn swords, and he just allowed Mist to mass up. It's kind of... Uh... Yeah, he just didn't do anything with the... Mm -hmm. He didn't do any real damage with the spearmen. Mm -hmm. And because of that, he was down from an economy perspective. Slightly. And then I think the, the longer you stay in H2 versus Norris, you're, you're going to kind of lose these fights just because the range of the throwing axemen. Mm -hmm. Pharaoh's in the chat saying he's trained Mista. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, Alpha Leopard, I don't think Mr. renamed himself. 
He's always been mm. the Mister. Maybe like one less A or one more A or something along those lines. Um, right. Wow. So yeah. strong showing here for Mister early on, taking a two yeah. to zero series lead. He's really showing why they call him the king. Jesus. Look at Greece. Look it's at the look at the difference in like ramp up in, in population for current their military. I mean, it's pretty remarkable how like uh, he hasn't played the game in over what two years or something like that. And he just comes back and comes back, plays for a month. He's like, all right, time to form, <laughs> time to ruin the competition. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> discouraging but, everybody. I, I think uh, I think Greeky, the next map, should be a bit more favorable for him. Treasure, is it always? Treasure, Island. Treasure Island, Treasure Island, Treasure okay. Island. It either is going to be more favorable towards him, or it's going to be his most hated map, where he loses to the the winner of every tournament, <laughs> like the final <laughs> game in which he loses to every single person who wins the tournament. Um, right. I hope that doesn't happen, right? Because he, he lost to Zertan on Treasure Island in the last tournament. Oh right, this right? is the best of five. So it's like do or die for Greeky already. This is, this is do or die. The winner takes home that. Uh, that first Damn. place prize and second right. place walks away with only 30% of the prize pool. He's like, it's game three. I might as well use my re. Might not be a game after this. I'm just going to throw it out there. <laughs> That's one way to think about it. Or maybe I mean, he was like, the terrain set wasn't nearly oh. as good as what I like. And you're, he's right. like, for the casters. We do it for the casters. Uh, ooh, <laughs> That's a nice gold mine for the Mista. We're going to see if uh, Greeky has a nice gold mine as well. Hopefully he does. He's got a nice hunt. And he does have a decent gold, so it's looking good. It's looking very good. So, so far, yeah. Two let us or, intro yeah. these players. Uh, first, we'll start with uh, the caster. The Canadian wonder boy. The eagle man himself. Eagle Thank you. <laughs> yes, joining me, a legendary so caster. Honored. Been been casting for how long, Igri? How long have you been casting for? Uh, Tell the players your history. I, I, well, I didn't really cast, I guess, in the original game's life, but sure since you did. Project Celeste, All right, that's why I remember you. That's where I remember you from. You casted a lot with Steve, I think, back in the day. No, not really. I was always a a player, not a caster. But when Project Celeste came around, I tried to help out a little bit. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Look at this, Mister going for an early docks. Um, that's good to see. Greeky not giving up on the water right away. Love to see it. Imagine Getting his own him. dock. And so this is uh, it's a best of five series. So this could potentially be Greeky's, or this is Greeky's do or die game. If he wins here, he keeps his his prospects of being the the first place <laughs> in the Age of Empires Online Legends tournament. And if I mean, he what loses, a title to have. Second. <laughs> if you're going to win a tournament for the first time, this is the one to do it. Against the Mista? Heck yeah. Oh, Heck man. Yeah. <laughs> this is... That would cement you as, as an absolute... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's already a legend. He's already, you know, in the last tournament, came second place to Zertan. Um, tournaments yeah. prior has beaten fantastic players like Carnage and Eerie and, and Striker. And so there's no doubt in my mind that both these players are, are legends, but... The Mista has proven his dominance so far in this series. He's proven his dominance over the last 10 years in the RTS scene. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Threw it all the way to be a... What the Mista is done. Well, so we already see a kind of a interesting opening here for Greeky. Quick Bronze Age. Click up time. Love it. No stone gathering. Like, what is his, what's his play here? So the Mista, a little bit divergent from that. He's going double fishing boats. I think he talked to me yesterday about how, oh, he's missing one food, uh, but he was talking to me yesterday about how, like, you get these two fishing boats plus a dock, and by the time your opponent can go across the map with you the trireme, your boat out. you right. can, like, you win. Ooh, Greeky's going to see yeah, this. So, yeah, he's got the trireme in queue right away. I don't know. I think it's going to get over. Oh, it'll be close. There's, he's going to get sure another one out it. as well, right away. But the oh, you think this production? is going to be able to pump out 
two ships at once once he ages up here. I think he will. He's already got enough resources for it. Wow. I mean, when you hear him co-cast with you and he's talking like timings down to the second, this guy's a computer. Oh, he's a monster. Absolute monster. Look at Look this. Look at that, too. It's Boom. just like, it's perfect. Greeky's already made his second as well. But uh, if he doesn't drop down a second docks, he's going to lose the water. I mean, he might be able to take out one fishing ship here. Twenty seconds. He's got. He's got five oh, seconds. Man. He's got five seconds to take out two fishing boats. And look, good reaction time. Boom! Man. They're both out. He's dodged them this well. Is... Wow. <sighs> Little bob and weave. Ooh, okay, okay, Greeky. I mean, I, I I like what Greeky was trying to do here. Like, Missa knew exactly what was coming. Mm -hmm. And had that game. No second dock either no for Greeky. No second dock. He saw the second dock and chooses not to build a second dock. Does he does he bait the Mista into making a ton of Liburnians and is doing something else instead? Mista is keeping a close eye on it. That's his worry. Mm -hmm. Does Greeky quickly transition to something that isn't water? Uh, what's uh, Mista's gold gathering situation look like? like he... He's I can see he's not uh, able to afford double production six. anymore. But he's got six guys on gold. Right now he has that warship lead. We see the first fight three v four. Three v four. Yeah, and the miss is still pumping out more Liburnians. Ricky's doing he a good job dodging. Fishing ships too to repair. I mean, he also has the engineer there. I'm really surprised Ricky's not double production here. Yeah, Maybe he just can't afford it. it. Oh, I thought he just had a bunch of wood that disappeared. Yeah, I, I thought think he, I thought he just down dropped a down a building. house. But... Me too. I was I thought that too, and I, I went to go mm -hmm. look back. Mista in his base, he's not throwing down another hunt, but he is getting more Liburnians, and that's the thing he's struggling for the most right now, actually. Just uh, just some gold. One thing he doesn't have is any of his economy upgrades. Yeah, no handsaw. No Does handsaw. Greeky, have Greeky handsaw? has handsaw. So that's, look, you see in his um, in his wood bank, he has just a ton of wood. So right. he should be able to drop down another bear, uh, docks here. I think he definitely wants to in this situation. 6v5, Trireams are a way little better. stronger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, another way better. 50 DPS, 750 HP versus 600 DPS and 45. Uh, sorry, 600 HP and 45 DPS. So they're better. But can 2 mm. to 1 production beat it? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know how experienced Mista is with like the water play of Romans, if he even is aware of the Neris. I'm sure he oh, is. Here it is. I thought for sure he'd go up to the age three now and just hold with what he has now and get those stronger warships. He's making a concave with his Liburnians. That was a nice little pot shot at that one trireme. Now if Mista he targets... Actually... <laughs> go for it, go for it. He took actual time to do that, spread his ships like that. <laughs> Just so when Greeky does show up, they all can shoot. Like just little things like that. It's nice to see. Okay, your turn. <laughs> no, 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 all good. Look at this, Greeky mistakenly queuing up all of his triumphs on one. Yep, now switches it up. I wonder both these players can just like cancel one, get a bunch of food, and uh, and try to go to age three. Like Greeky's got fire ships in age three, mm -hmm. and so does the Mist. The Mist has an Eris. Um, See, back in his base, Greeky's not giving up. He's not switching to anything in production or whatever. Uh, he's not going for a second town center. Miss is going for a second town center on, on stone. So while this is taking the majority of everybody's attention for both players, uh, the Nine Mista... Nine ships to the 13. Wow. This might be one of the biggest uh, sea battles in a tournament I've seen in a while. Yes, I agree. The full, they're both fully committed now. <laughs> Greek is losing one or two ships at a time. He's doing a good job dodging. Is it going to be do or die right here? 13 to the 10 triremes. Oh man, this micro battle wow. is so strong. I'm, as this is going on, I'm just kind of watching the cue bars here to see if these players drop any bills and they're still like on top of it the greeky <laughs> might drop so some much with, uh, he doesn't have almost enough 
Nope. Every time he loses a trireme, it helps out with his population cap. Uh, that is true. I mean, yeah, both players are kind of even. The front line there for uh, Missa. There's a couple weak Aneris here that are like half HP. Makariki looks like he's losing this one. Oh, man. It's hard to tell right now. Yeah. It looks like Makariki's got two different control groups, and he's, he's being whittled oh, down. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. I mean, there's a couple, two weak ones up front. What is it? Six? Oh, looks pretty close. Seven to eight now. Oh, no, never mind. There go <laughs> two drop. Oh, and another potentially. One each HP. Look at it. Bob and Weave. Oh, wow. Greeky's not giving this up. This is not either. He's got 500. Look, he's dropping villagers. He's dropping. Uh, yeah. Uh, he, does, he can put down a second town center second in a second. But this doesn't look very hot for Greeky, if I'm, if I'm being honest here. I think Miss is down up to three docks now on the water. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. And Greeky is uh, actually now one town center behind because Miss is putting up another oh, town oh, center. Yeah. Oh my god, how is Miss able to do all of it? But he even has 209 or 300 more stone in the bank. Watch him like come forward with some engineers and throw some towers down right here. Oh, <laughs> I mean, wicked. Greeky's army is, uh, or fishing ships, or not fishing ships, Triums are quite hurt, and he's still producing more and more. Yeah, but I think it's kind of a stalemate here. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty close. evenly. What's the villager count like? All of a sudden, Greeky yeah. is taking... 40 to 39, oh, so dude. it's super close. But now with the double TC production, look at that, I missed a queuing up five of each, so he doesn't forget. Um... Missa should be able to clean up this water eventually, and if not, he'll be able to transition much quicker onto the. Um, I think Missa might have used up all his in gold or his gold inside his base. He had to transition there. Yeah. He was kind of starved for a sec. Yeah, I'm not Greeky, sure. Not giving up. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, this is, I'm wondering though. Greeky also is now about to struggle for a bunch of gold. Uh, he's moving on to here. Uh, in his base, he's going for his own second town stone. center. He's making his own third docks. I can't. I'm not sure why Greeky's staying so long in the second age, though. That's the only thing that's worrying me right now. Well, same with the Mista. He hasn't clicked up yet either. I think in age two, these ship better battles are going better for Greeky, just because it's a stronger warship. Yeah, he's got 10 to 9 Lib uh, Liburnians now. So if he's able to just. Uh... Micro is hard out right here. He should be able to win the water. Yeah, it'll start snowballing hard. Still that double T uh, production. Missed a sort of cup production. And look at him go now. Two Praetoriums out on the field. And he'll be able to get them up quite quickly with the engineers. So maybe he's in sensing it. Yeah. Age three in Q. Yeah, so this is, Gre this is Greeky's time to secure the water. Yeah, this is it. He's got to micro it. Now Missa is going to do everything within his power to make sure that uh, he doesn't give away the water for free here. Make it costly. Make Greeky continue to uh, to commit these triremes. Mm -hmm. And these resources of the triremes. But maybe in, in a second oh, here, if it's so H3. many weak ships here. Like four of them are like one HP or one volley. Oh, it looks oh, like Greeky's wow. going to be able to take this. But Anaris are going to come out. And Missa, look at that. He canceled the rest of his ships here. Oh, look at this surround. Okay, Greeky's got the water. He's got the water. He now needs to destroy these things before the, Aner the Anaris come out. It is. There's a lot of houses too near the coast here for the Mista <laughs> that can go down. But look, the Decorians are out. Greeky, what is he putting down? He's putting down three barracks oh, look uh, at all these military and, and three archer ranges. That better come out quick, because the Decorians are on their way. And so are the Anaris, but uh, no, this is not making any. I was going to say, he's hurting for food, but look at his queue, all fishing boats. Like, yeah, so. he spent all <laughs> that good. wood bank. Spent all of his wood right away. All right, this is Greeky's chance. He's got an advantage. 54 villages to the 53, and he's making a bunch of fishing ships. Let's see it, Greeky. Let's see what you got. I like his position right now, that's for sure. That what is that Decorion champion Ooh, in Q4 siege for Mista? Oh yeah, <laughs> siege workshop. Here comes the Scorpios. Yeah, you won the water, but uh, 
the reality sets in. You're facing against you're facing off against the Mista's age three Roman army. Look how quickly Mista's like transitioning here. Fifty-four hey, always... to the fifty-eight villagers, but this army is going to be deadly engineers? scary. Seven engineers. <laughs> He's gonna, is he going to drop a forward fortress? You think? Oh, oh, four, eight engineers. Maybe on a gold mine. Maybe you should have done that on a gold mine. But uh, yeah, where Greeky has Greeky. his. Yes, he is dropping down oh. a forward fortress. He get. Oh my god! And I think he get... can He'll do it. Like, there's only one spearman here for Greeky. It's just a bunch of talks. He needs to start destroying these uh, these triremes to get the extra population room. What do you do with Greeky? Do you pull villagers here and just deny this fort? It yes. looks like he is. Yes, you, you do. Have to. Absolutely. I mean, you he's gonna lose this. some villagers here. How did he just? How did miss the pump out so many officer units so quickly? He'll be able to stop this. I think Ricky's. He just if, if he focuses the. Uh, oh, that's, that's eight engineers. He's not gonna get it. He's got loom. The roided villagers. Let's go, roided villagers. At the very least, it'll be half health or one third health. Uh, he's gonna lose a lot of villagers has for it. The though. resources to engineers can repair, obviously, right? Yes. So they're just gonna yes, make that can. thing full HP. Oh man, and now the miss is in the heart. It was looking so good for Greeky, and just this one play has totally turned the tides. <sighs> and that was the worry, right? And look at that. We got battering rams coming in, so he doesn't even need Scorpios anymore. Now he needs something to clean up this mess. All of the houses and all the, the building production facilities of Greeky need to come down, says the Mista. And this, I think... And the thing is, yeah, he's he's got the fortress on top of Greeky's goal. I mean, he's got 900 in the bank. He's okay mm -hmm. with that resource for now, but what does he do here? I think he overmade archery ranges. Three barracks, three archery ranges. I'm not sure, man. Yeah, you, need, sure. Um, you don't need spearmen, you need hoplites. You need hoplites against all the siege. Mm -hmm. uh, the only, only thing with he's the still armor. in the Bronze Age. It's <laughs> perfect timing here for Mista. Yeah, for sure. Greek, you need to be in the Silver Age a little bit earlier, but um, still fantastic play by the Mista, right? Like that was super smart to come up here with the fortress, transition to that scary, really scary Age Three wow. Roman build. Man, what a! Maybe a little bit of an overcommitment to the water there for Greeky at the end, and Mista just transitioned beautifully there. <laughs> what a game. What does he say? Uh. And a Anna? Anna. Is that like Anna. his wife? Maybe. <laughs> Oh, I feel for Greeky. He put up a valiant effort, especially in this game three. Holy, yeah, what a what an absolute monster. He, you know what? Winning the water that probably is the most legendary fight I've seen on Treasure Island. Like, I don't think I've seen that many ships. Mm -hmm. Um, in a long time, on the water. Mr. says, oh, his girlfriend. Oh, that's so cute. I mean, he has to shout out the girlfriend, right? Letting him play video games on the weekend. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, a girlfriend of five years. Oh, that's some heartwarming shit. Oh, man. I wish I could zoom out a bit more. Um, get it all on one screen. Get it all on one screen. But uh... zoom in on the mini map. You can kind of see it. And the Ash, uh, shout out to you. Oh my goodness. I also, I guess, congr congrats are in order for the Mista. Congrats are in order for Start sure. The tournament. Yeah. Well played, well played. She's watching 100%. Oh, there she is. She said aw in the chat. Nice. Very nice. Greeky, well played as well, sir. Greeky that was a hard the, fought the battle. Mista, master of RTS and master with the ladies. Mm. <laughs> Yo, 
That's some smooth shit. That's yeah, some smooth shit. <laughs> Against the prodigy himself, you're like, hold on, let me let me take a second here. I know, I'm, I know, I know, I'm besieging his base, but <laughs> uh, to, yeah. but let me just uh, take a second. <laughs> so, oh, are you gonna get Mista in here for an interview? Of of yeah, course. Off, off, off. Uh, you have no, to interview no, 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 him. No, no, no. <laughs> let's uh, let's jump into the casters thing on the on the um, on the PvP Discord, and then we can chat. We can chat with him. All right. All right, Mister. Hop, hop in as well. 